she had atoned for her crime. But the mother of one of the victims said she was overjoyed. Murray Hindley was called to the governor's office at Cookham Wood and given a letter from the prison service. After a House of Lords ruling last year, she and all other vice prisoners have to be told the minimum period they must serve before being considered for parole. Hindley, who's 52 and who's been in jail since 1966, now knows that for her, a life sentence will mean exactly that. News like that, when broken to anyone, such devastating news that you must, must never hope for your freedom, uh, takes a long time to sink in. And indeed, when I saw her this morning, you know, I was struck uh, how, um, I think, bewildered she, she was and uh, slowly coming to terms with that uh, news. Few crimes have caused the outrage and revulsion of the Moors murders, and the tabloid newspapers have ensured that the images of the 60s hadn't been allowed to fade away. Hindley, who lured children to their deaths at the hands of her lover, Ian Brady. A tape recording of one of their victims, Leslie Ann Downey, was played at the trial, another feature which marked the case as unlike any other.